Hey everybody, uh, I got thinking today that I might owe some of you an apology. I had to get my car inspected today. And for all of us that have ever had to sit through there and get it done and it takes up time of our day and we think it's such a waste of time, some of that might be my fault or people like me because while a lot of you have the vehicles that are safe to drive, some of us have uh, been known to try to slide through unsafe vehicles. Yeah, you know, there's some of us that have lied directly to an inspector's face with the worst lie. No, that, that windshield's supposed to have 14 cracks right across where the driver has to look through. That's the way the windshields come. No, this model didn't have side view mirrors. No, that's not, that's not the way it's supposed to be. But this vehicle passed that I drove today, and it should have. But it just made me think of some of the things that I've taken that have passed and should not have. I remember thinking... <laughs> I remember hoping that an inspector at one point didn't look at my wheels. I didn't want him to check my wheels of a car that three minutes later I would drive down a curvy two-lane highway at 65 miles an hour because I didn't want to lose $8. <laughs> what an idiot. I, I laughed at a DMV woman's face one time directly in her face when she asked me if I wanted two-year plates. And I said, I think you're being a little bit optimistic on two years. She said, you don't know if your vehicle's going to last two years? I'm like, I don't know if it's going to last two miles. But the worst one I ever took was, um, and, <laughs> and people are going to think I'm making this up. But there, when I had a car in college, I had to try to find one of those um, less than reputable establishments, we'll call it. And I found one because this was my only chance of getting this car passed. And I had to check the weather. Now, how, this is how ridiculous it is because I knew this guy didn't have a shop. He just looked at cars outside in his yard. He was like a shade tree mechanic, only without the tree. He just had nothing. You went and parked your car on like the oil spot. And he would go and he would look at it. So I thought if it's really bad weather, then he wouldn't be, you know, as thorough. That was my plan. And I know that sounds ridiculous and it's stupid, but it had a lot of logic to it. And so I went over there and the guy, the weather was so bad, it was snowing and sleeting that he didn't even want to come out of his house to do it. Like he would just yell me and struck, yell instructions at me from his front door, like, oh, left turn signal, right turn signal. And I would do this. I had like go back so he could see the tail lights. And then he would just ask me questions and I would lie. How are the wipers? Oh, they're good. Okay, that's right. How's your windshield? Is that any cracks in it? No. It looked like a spider web across there. It was horrible. He goes, oh, does the horn work? Yeah. And then I thought, this guy is just doing this, if I would have known in 2020 vernacular, he was doing this virtually. He was doing like a Zoom car inspection 25 years early. Maybe I shouldn't make fun of this guy. Maybe he's ahead of his time. But uh, so that was all that. So I was thinking about that today when I was sitting there and I thought, well, maybe I wouldn't have to go through this if there weren't people like me. So if you've ever had to do that, my fault. Sorry. I'll talk to you guys soon. Got some shows coming up this weekend. I'll plug later on, but I uh, hope everybody's doing well.